hawking, the selling of goods and other commodities along busy roads or residential areas. Child hawking is a form of labor. These practices have been on the rise. These increases can be attributed to a large extent the biting economic situation in the country. However, on the 20th of November 1989, the world leaders came together and made a historic commitment to the world's children. The United Nations Convention on the Right of the Child make, makes it an offense to involve children in an activity which impacts negatively on their health and well-being. The convention also emphasizes the need for government to protect children from exploitation. Nigeria, also a signatory to this treaty, also enact a law on Child Rights Act which says children should be protected from trafficking in all street hawking. Every time I see a child hawking instead of being in school, I feel these children have irresponsible parents. And it's a situation that breaks my heart. Somebody will just came and say, I want to go and pick and I want to collect a little bit to come and hold my baby. They will just bring him here, starting giving him pure water to sell. Some poor citizens on the way because they don't know how to cross through. These people are people who are ordinarily supposed to be in the school. But we find ourselves seeing them around selling. Honestly, it's not very good. It's not good at all. It doesn't tell well for the country. It doesn't tell well for, to us as people. If government would have a conducive environment for people to be able to live and take care of their children. But today, the environment is not conducive for people, for businesses to thrive. Then you begin to wonder. Some have one, two, three, four, five children. And then you come to realize that the number will be more than their earnings. So the children will now have to be forced to go outside in order to see how they survive. Depends on the background they came from. Some of them, their parents are not alive. Some of them are orphans. Some of them, the, the, the family members brought them from the village. For the sake of taking care of them, all of a sudden, they allowed them to be moving about instead of looking for dairy bread in their family. When you send a child out to go out and home, you don't follow that child out. You don't know what happens to the child outside there. There was an instance that happened two weeks ago at the road here where a trailer crushed one child that was hopping with pure water. They could not even recognize that child. The only thing they could pick was his clothes. Nobody could, the clothes that were mixed with blood. Parents supposed to take care of their children. By the time the children get matured, then that is when the children will take care of them when they are old. But the revise is the case, the small children sitting around, it will surprise you to know that it is the money they earn here that is being used in the house. What an irony of life. The government should have a decisive policy to make sure that these children go to school. If you see them on the street, you take them straight to school. And then parents of these children should be punished to avoid this occurrence. Because until parents are punished, if not, this trend is going to continue. They should be responsible for these children. Every child you give birth to. Is supposed to be taken care of by you till that child reach certain age. If there's any way that the government can assist in putting some laws or some agents to be going about, 
uh, getting some of these uh, underage hawkers so that they can talk to the family, enlighten the family, talk to the family so that they cannot release them for such business. If we say children are the leaders of tomorrow, then why do we place our leaders of tomorrow on dangerous highways paddling their way from sausage rolls, chin, -chin to sashim and table water?